Judy Moody Goes to College, Part 1. Matitude. When Judy Moody got to school on Monday, she had a new teacher. Her new teacher was called a sub, not the sandwich. Her new teacher was called Mrs. Grossman. Exactly three things were wrong with that. One, Mrs. Grossman was not gross. Two, Mrs. Grossman was not a man. Three, Mrs. Grossman was not Mr. Todd. Judy was the first to raise her hand. Where's Mr. Todd? I'm sure Mr. Todd told everyone in front of me he was going to a special teacher's conference. I was in here on Friday, said Judy. He's going to teach, learn to be a better teacher. But Mr. Todd's already a great teacher, said Judy. Maybe he's getting a special teacher's award, said Rocky. Where did he go? asked Judy. And when will he be back? The others joined in. Are you going to read us cat wings? Mr. Todd always read us cat wings and cat wings return. Are you going to take us on school trips? Mr. Todd always takes us on school trips. Are we class 3T? Or are we class 3G now? Mr. Todd is in Bologna in Italy, said Mrs. Grossman. Sheesh! Life was no fair. Judy liked bologna in her sandwiches. Judy liked Italy. She even knew a special dance from Italy, the Tarantella. Mr. Todd was probably in the land of bologna right now, dancing like a tarantula. While they were stuck in the land of multiplication, learning boring old times tables. She, Judy Moody, did not like third grade. Class 3D that was now 3G without Mr. Todd. Judy Moody's new teacher came from New England. She did not talk like Mr. Todd. She talked funny with a lot of extra R's. Judy Moody's new teacher did not wear cool glasses like Mr. Todd. She wore glasses hanging from a chain around her neck. She did not even smell like Mr. Todd. She smelled like she took a bath in P.U. perfume. Judy Moody's new teacher put up a tent at the back of the room with a sign that said Attitude Tent. Judy wondered what attitude you have to be. And Judy Moody's new teacher was screwing for sweets. She gave out sweets for good behaviour to everybody. Minus Judy, because she was in the mood. She even gave out sweets for the right answers in maths. Pretty soon the whole class was going to have math committees, except for Judy. Today, Mrs. Grossman was talking about measurements, litres and millimetres and barrels and hogheads. She tried to make it sound like math it was a barrel of fun. But Judy, for one, did not give a pig's ear about hogheads. Mrs. Grossman wore ten garlands of perfume. Mrs. Grossman gave out twenty hogheads of sweets. Instead of listening, Judy played with her watch, her brand new, fancy dancy duck egg blue, glow in the dark ask a question watch 5000, complete with print the future answers and screensaver. Blah, 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 said Mrs. Grossman, rounding numbers up, rounding numbers down. Judy estimated that rounding did not make maths one bit easier. Judy pressed some buttons. A nightlight blinked. A dual time button gave the time in two countries so a person did not have to wear two different watches. Squirrel, squirrel! Mrs. Grossman scratched on the board from that sternity. Judy pressed the big green question mark button. Rare! It was just like the magic eight ball. Ask the watch a question, press the glow in the dark green button, and it gave you mystery answers. Is Mrs. Grossman cuckoo for maths? You bet. Is Mrs. Grossman ever going to give me a sweet? Can't tell. Is Mrs. Grossman ever going to give me a sweet? Can't tell. Am I going to college someday? Looks good. Is Mr. Todd ever coming back? Hazy. 
Actually, did you hear the question? Judy did not hear the question. So Judy did not know the answer. Was it 77? 88? 99? Liters? Bath tubs? Barrels? Pig heads? Judy blurted the only answer that sprang to mind. Hazy! She called out.